I love to photograph the sunrise. There aren't many people, it's calmer, and it's just me and nature. This is one of the first beaches in the north shore of Sao Paulo. And for my surprise, it was very, very windy. But it was a glorious morning with a beautiful sunrise light. So I grabbed my equipment, my tripod and my camera quickly. As I was trying to make my first composition. What came to my attention firstly was the, the reflection, the patterns uh, on the shore. It was forming these stripes. And for my photograph, I'm always very instinctive and I try to feel what first caught my attention and stick to that. Then I moved on to another composition. And right here I was deciding if it is worth it to put a polarizer. I was also using at this time uh, ND graduated filter. The morning light changed quickly and I had to move to another composition. As the sun was about to rise, I tried to make a different composition with a telephoto lens, uh, but it doesn't really went well. So I moved my eyes into another direction. Look at those clouds. They were forming an, an interesting pattern in the sky. After the sun rose, I went to the right side of the beach. I have tried to reach the furthest point by going through the rocks, but the tide was high and I had to change my plan. So I went into the upper trail through the woods. This crossing here is really dangerous. This was a very dry day, so I wouldn't go on when the waves are very high or when it's wet, because once you sleep here, you go straight into the sea. When I arrived at this point, what caught my attention was this green moss over the rocks. It was very, very windy and it messed up with a composition that I had planned with a reflection. And this is one point that I always take care and always teach on my workshops. Please, if you are doing seascape photography, be aware of the rising tide. So, I started looking for compositions. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, and by the way, I had these filters here with me for a long, long time. It is a mist filter set from Leaf Filters. And I thought I might give it a try. So these filters come in three versions. One is the stripe version, the other is the graduated mist, and the other one is the spot, clear spot. So I made some tests putting the filter in front of the graduated filter without the graduated filter behind an ND filter. All of this would influence on the final outcome of the photo. And you can see the results now. Once again, thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you aren't already, and I will see you on the next video. But wait, because there are some images that I made on the first light that you will see them now. <laughs>